Chester Fawkes starts on pole position. He's got James Roots for company on the front row. Darren Dimitrov and William Crombie are on row two. Charlie Page and Albert Farah are on row number three. Chloe McGill will start seventh. Freddie Baker alongside Jack Harney and Theo Poyser are on row number five. Then it's Max Mikalski with Harris Barber in 12th. Sophia Page and Charlie Holmes, Leo Harang and Austin Anderson. Freddie Purnell completes your 17 Ayami Bambino final runners. I'll try and keep an eye out if we get any classified results from our finals here today. In case any penalties are applied post race and then we'll be able to see whether anything is uh, anything is given in terms of uh, changing any of the front points for anybody else we'll uh, we'll keep an eye out on that the track at the moment is clear we're just waiting for our uh, army bambinos to make their way round onto the grid they've not left the dummy grid yet as you can see there just here at Warden Law, just being held in position for the time being. I don't think we've got any recoveries on track. It may well be that because there's so many junior row taxes to come in and then get the wade for the final, is that well, they could still be queued on the other side of that green building there to the left of your screen to come off the grid. So until the track is clear, even though these carts will be coming around to sit in a standing start position, until the track is completely clear, we won't be allowing anybody out onto track so I'm going to uh, wait for a few moments of time send down to our cameraman as the uh, army bambinos make their way out and onto the uh, onto the circuit your final few runners then for our army bambinos just the forks at the front just trying to as we've got some contact on the outlap there we've got a few spinners as well So what this will do is it will give our parent helpers a little bit more time to make their way down the start finish because the field spread now is, is quite big and we're going to get everybody into, uh, into position for their standing starts when they come round. So we're going to have Chester Forks then on the front row. Front runners then rolling into position on the start finish line. Just getting some instructions for some of them as to which side of the uh, train they need to be. Poleman, the 38 of Chester Forks, rolls in into the right hand side. He's got James Roots alongside on the front row. Got a few runners to be slotted into position. Those are the ones that had the uh, issues on the out lap. One of them is the 42 of Albert Farah, six years old from Chelmsford in Essex. Did a few mighty Bambino races last year before moving across into the Iami Bambinos at the end of 22. This will be his first competitive year racing the Iamis. The 12 though of Harris Barber looks like he's got a problem. The cart moved off onto the side of the track. Harris Barber jumping out. The cart being lifted up and they're going to pop that one up and over the wall. They're going to pass it to a few people. Be interested now, see if those few, if anybody can see, see if they can get that cart moving. I don't know what the problem is, but uh, Harris Barber walking down the side of the track and will make his way through the barrier. Unfortunate there for Harris Barber. He's not going to take any part in this final as the track is cleared off. Final few helpers out of the way. Five second board being shown as the red lights come on on the overhead gantry here at Warden Law. Lights are out on the overhead gantry. We're away and racing. It's a good start by Charlie Page in the 33 who moves alongside Darren Dimitrov and will try and run all the way round the outside and snatch third place into the first corner. Dimitrov manages to hold firm on the inside and it will be Chester Fawkes leading from James Roots, Darren Dimitrov. Then it's going to be Charlie Page and Albert Farah. That's your and Arthur Farah. That's your top five as they 
make their way up and over the curbs at St. John's on the left-hand side as they run down the middle of the track. Theo Poiser there in the 70, right on the back of this leading train of carts. Then there's a bit of a gap back to three or four further runners as the leaders make their way out onto the back straight and into the back chicane for the first time. Just run down towards the gasworks hairpin. Everybody nice and cleanly through as we await the field coming through for the first time here. We've got the 33 of Charlie Page under investigation. Could, have, could potentially be for a jump start at the beginning of this race. Was very quick away, made a good start and moved through. At the moment, though, he's in fourth place behind Forks, Roots and Dimitrov. Then it's Albert Farrer in fifth, Jack Harney in sixth, Crombie, Baker, McGill, Poiser, and Ho uh, Poiser. then it's Holmes, Mikalski, Page, Anderson, Harang and Purnell, your 16 runners with Harris Barber out of this race already at the beginning. Forks leads by half a second from James Roots. William Crombie in front of Freddie Baker, seventh and eighth respectively. Chloe McGill right on the back as they go round the right-hander. Sweep through the back chicane. Leaders out at the front of this race. Hawks, Root and Dimitrov looking to open up a gap. They've got half a second or so. Back then to Charlie Page. as uh, Chloe McGill carries a lot of speed round the right-hander into the back of the 90, 92 of Freddie Baker. Run-up start finish now sees James Roots right on the back of Darren Dimitrov. Two and a half tenths taken out of the race leader on that previous lap by James Roots and so Forks coming under pressure then from Roots and Dimitrov. Dimitrov in third, sticking with at the moment and James Roots tries to put half a move down the inside of Chester Forks. Forks holding on to the lead for the time being at least behind them. Charlie Page trying to stick with, trying to take advantage should anything happen. Dimitrov with the fastest lap then as he closes in on the back of James Roots as well. The leading trio looking to break away. In the previous lap, they were just a fraction quicker than Charlie Page, but Page hoping to be close enough as Roots puts the move down the inside. Forks goes wide in order to allow Roots to come through cleanly, and that allows Darren Dimitrov to come through up into second place in the red, white and green machine. Round the right-hander, and then Dimitrov goes wide onto the kerb. That's going to allow Chester Forks to come back down the inside as Dimitrov loses momentum. Forks, though, cannot take advantage, and Dimitrov with some huge straight line speed at the end of the straight. And Chester Forks looks like he's slowing here because Charlie Page has come through as well for third place. Chester Forks now was going to have to hold off Albert Farrah. Farrah sets the fastest lap in fifth place. Chester Forks, not sure if he's got a problem here. We've got a spinner. That's Freddie Purnell, I think, in the seven on the inside. Cart parked and just waiting for everybody else to come through. Roots and Dimitrov, your top two then. Then it's going to be uh, Page. Let's see whether Fox has got a problem or whether it was just half a lap or so that he just didn't have the power. And let's have a quick look. It might be that it's just all top end straight line speed and we'll see what happens throughout the rest of this race and whether he can maintain his fourth place at the moment. As they make their way round the horseshoe, still seven minutes and 45 seconds remaining for James Roots and Darren Dimitrov in first and second place. Charlie Page then in third now. Looks like Chester Forks is back up to pace in, uh, in fourth place as Dimitrov goes down the inside of James Roots for the lead. So Darren Dimitrov leads at the moment from James Roots, Charlie Page, Chester Forks and Albert Farrah. Chloe McGill up into sixth place. Jack Harney, Freddie Baker, William Crombie and Theo Poiser as the field Start making their way through some lap traffic now. Chester Forks has closed right back in. Not sure what that problem was that lost him uh, four places. It was around about half a lap that he just didn't seem to have the power. But whatever it was, could have just been a little bit of muck in the car or anything like that. And as long as you keep your foot in, it should blow it clear. So he's back up. Right onto the back of the top four is Chester Forks, who was 
led the early part of this race. Then James Roots led now. It's going to be Darren Dimitrov. Chester Fort's coming back down the inside of Charlie Page. Moves out the slipstream. Has to slot back in. Didn't have the power in the straight line to get back down the inside of Chester Fort, uh, of uh, Charlie Page as Chester Forks does indeed set the final lap. The fastest lap as he gets himself through into position. Down the middle straight they go and down the inside goes James Roots on Darren Dimitrov that could allow Charlie Page to come through as well it's going to allow Chester Forks back to the inside could Forks move from fourth into second place he does Chester Forks takes advantage of Dimitrov and Page squabbling over position and Chester Forks is back up into second place Dimitrov this contact between Dimitrov and Charlie Page Page forced out wide onto the grass collects the tail wall but manages to keep going I think he could be in fifth place as long as the axle's not bent from where he went in the tyres there he should be okay to continue I think he will be down in fifth place behind Albert Farah as the leaders come over the line Roots now leading from Chester they've got a big gap now back to Darren Dimitrov one and a half seconds Albert Farah up into third Charlie Page crosses the line in fifth place McGill then it's Harney Baker Crombie Poyser Mikalski Page Holmes Harang Anderson and Purnell Page, the final driver on the lead lap, currently in 12th place. We've still got a bit of time to catch up with Sophia in P12 for our race leaders as they make their way round centre one and centre two. William Crombie facing the wrong way out of ninth place there in the green cart. <clears throat> Looks like he's dropped behind Theo Poiser. I think that was more to do with lap traffic because he had a big gap to Freddie Baker in front and a big gap to Theo Poiser behind. So looks like he's had an issue negotiating the lap traffic. James Root round the right-hander with Chester Forks just in behind. This is your top two now with a gap of one and a half seconds. From the rest of the pack, Chester Forks into the slipstream, pushing in James Roots down the straight as it stands at the moment, doesn't pop out of the slipstream with four minutes remaining. We've got a yellow flag at Marshall Post 4. I think we've had a spin, but I think it's still flashing on the light, so we'll keep an eye out on that because our, our leaders are about to close, catch up to uh, come up to Marshall Post 4. It's just on the right here, so there'll be no overtaking opportunities until they are clear of that and they see a green post. That's William Crombie's cut. That's why we've got the yellow flags out. They're past that incident now and are free to race once again James Root and Chester Forks heading down the back straight towards the uh, hairpin Forks gives Roots a little nudge into the rear just a gentle reminder that he's still there as if James Roots would have uh, forgotten tenth of a second between them as they head around Paddock Bend three and a half minutes remaining in this Ayami Bambino final I think this one could be uh, a case now of just Chester Forks picking his time and not wanting to be uh, too... Although Chester Forks slowing once again, not for the first time in this race. And Chester Forks from second place looks like he's rolling towards retirement onto the grass, punches the steering wheel in frustration. And Chester Forks, who had a chance of a victory, is heading towards retirement here in the final for our, our Iami Bambinos. The lead now, three and a half seconds for James Roots. It could be a comfortable run to the line unless Dimitrov and Farah can pull something majestic out of the bag. The gap, three and a half seconds. Now we've got Chloe McGill in front of Charlie Page up in fifth place. And Chester Forks, who had that problem in the early phase of the race that he, where he seemed to lose power and drop from first down into uh, fourth place. Then he came all the way back through to challenge James Roots for the lead has now had another failure of power and is off into retirement. The cart being pushed away, the driver already at the sanctuary of a marshal's post down there off track. So disappointment, unfortunately, for Chester Fork, still dropping down the order because he had managed to put a few laps on a few people. He'll drop down to 13th at least because Crombie, Holmes and Purnell are already off track, I believe, at the moment, in uh, showing at least Holmes in the pits. Purnell could still be circulating, but we've got William Crombie retired as well. We saw his car uh, on 
uh, being pulled off the track near Marshall Post 5, near this back she came where the drivers are making their way through now. Darren Dimitrov trying to find a way through the lap traffic. Same for Chloe McGill and Charlie Page. They could well be closing up here on Darren Dimitrov and Albert Farah in front of them. If they can find a way round the outside of the lap traffic, they do so cleanly as they head now towards Paddock Bend with one minute and 12 seconds remaining. Roots, Dimitrov and Farah, your top three as it stands. Chloe McGill in fourth place, 1.4 seconds off Albert Farah in front, but on the previous lap was some eight tenths of a second quicker than the drivers in front, albeit that could well have been because there was some lap traffic that those in front failed to negotiate. There's Dimitrov, Farah behind Chloe McGill as well. More traffic for them to contend with as Darren Dimitrov in the second place manages to find a way through. He's opened up a gap on Albert Farah as the traffic comes into play down that back straight. McGill and Page find a way through nice and cleanly with 30 seconds plus one lap remaining. I think James Roots, your race leader, will get round in enough time as we've got the 33 of Charlie Page being shown a three-second penalty over start-finish on the overhead gantry. That's going to drop him. Well, it won't drop him any places, but it means that even if he gets past Chloe McGill, he's going to have to pull a fair rate of knots out at the front of this one. Charlie Page with the fastest lap of the race, nonetheless. 5.8 seconds off the lead in fifth place is your race leader, James Root. Time has elapsed, but the last lap board isn't out, so he's got one and a half laps remaining at the front of this race as James Root. The gap out to four seconds from Darren Dimitrov. Opened up four tenths on the previous lap. Still trying to find a way through some traffic is Albert Farah, and he's now coming under pressure from Charlie Page. Looks like Chloe McGill may have managed to find a way through, has she? And uh, let's keep an eye out if we can pick the cart out in front as they'll definitely get it as they come over start finish in a few moments time we need to find out where McGill is because she was right on the back of this uh, she was in front of Page but behind Albert Farah and now as they come over the line it's roots from Dimitrov Farah Page McGill not where we expected to see her Charlie Page is moving moved up into fourth place waiting for uh, for Chloe McGill to come through. She does there come over the line. Some nine seconds lost on that previous lap. Still in fifth place, though, for Chloe McGill. And Charlie Page tries to go down the inside of the 42 of Albert Farrett. Can't get down the inside. Even if he does, there's a three-second penalty to be applied to Charlie Page. So he's going to have to get past Albert Farrett and move away by three seconds and we're already on the final lap so it's going it's probably not going to happen unless Albert Farah has a problem into this final complex of corners out at the front though James Roots making his way round Paddock Bend for the final time here at Warden Law to take victory in the opening round of the Bambino Kart Championship in our I Army Bambino class James Roots takes victory from Darren Dimitrov and Albert Farah in third place. Charlie Page in P4. And then it's going to be Chloe McGill at the moment in P5. There she is crossing the line in front of Freddie Baker and Jack Harney. There's your race winner already making his way through and over the way bridge because the exit gate is straight on at the end of the uh, start finish straight here at... Uh, Warden Law, and then they'll go into the uh, top four positions. They'll be uh, then maybe asked to scrutineer after that as they get out. Good win, though, for James Roots, just being congratulated down there by our championship organiser, Darren Beavers, with Darren Dimitrov and Albert Farrett completing the top three.